We like to think of space as quiet, peaceful, endless. But beyond our sky lies a battlefield, one where Earth is hopelessly outmatched. Invisible killers race toward us at near light speed. Stars can erupt without warning, unleashing enough energy to tear the fabric of our atmosphere. And hidden in the darkness, monsters wait, patient, silent, and unstoppable. This is the dark side of the universe and the terrifying ways it could erase us from existence. Let's start with something close to home and painfully familiar. Asteroids? 66 million years ago, a space rock about 10 kilometers wide slammed into what is now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The impact released the energy of over a billion nuclear bombs. The skies went dark, temperatures plummeted, and within a few years, 75% of life on Earth was gone, including the dinosaurs. And here's the thing, it wasn't a one-time event. We've been hit many times before, and we will be hit again. Even a small asteroid, say 100 meters across, could level an entire city. NASA's DART mission in 2022 proved we can nudge an asteroid off course, but only if we spot it in time. And that's the scary part. Thousands of space rocks big enough to cause catastrophic damage are still uncharted. They could be heading our way right now, invisible until it's too late. Now, imagine a planet the size of Jupiter, but with no star, no sunlight, just drifting through the cold darkness. These are rogue planets, worlds that were flung out of their home systems, doomed to wander forever. Some may be smaller than Earth, others bigger than gas giants. Astronomers believe they could outnumber the stars in our galaxy. If one wandered too close to our solar system, it could throw our planets into chaos. Orbits could shift. Moons could be torn away. Earth could be sent hurtling into deep space, a frozen wasteland. The worst part? Rogue planets are nearly invisible. We'd only detect one if it passed close enough, and by then, there might be nothing we could do. Gamma ray bursts are the universe's most powerful explosions since the Big Bang. In just seconds, they can unleash more energy than our sun will emit over its entire lifetime. They're thought to happen when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide. If one went off within a few thousand light years of us, it could strip away Earth's atmosphere, destroy the ozone layer, and blast the surface with lethal radiation. Life could be wiped out in days. They're rare, but not impossible. Astronomers have even identified certain stars, like Wolf Ray at 104, that could, one day, fire a gamma ray burst in our direction. If that happens, we probably wouldn't see it coming. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it can explode in a supernova, an event so bright it can outshine an entire galaxy. If one happened close enough, within about 50 light years, the radiation could strip away Earth's atmosphere and fry the surface. The good news? The nearest likely candidate, Betelgeuse, is about 642 light years away. The bad news? That's not far in cosmic terms. When it does go, it'll be one of the most spectacular sights humanity has ever seen. Let's just hope we're far enough to watch and not burn. Black holes. The monsters of the universe. Gravity so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. If a wandering black hole drifted into our solar system, it could disrupt planetary orbits, drag worlds into its maw, or sling them into the void. We found one just 1,500 light years away, practically in our neighborhood. And scientists think there could be hundreds of millions in our galaxy alone. If one passed close by, we wouldn't be able to stop it. We might not even see it until it was too late. Our sun is not a calm, gentle star. It's a nuclear reactor, prone to outbursts. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections hurl charged particles into space. If aimed at Earth, they can overload power grids, knock out satellites, and bathe astronauts in dangerous radiation. In 1859, the Carrington event set telegraph lines on fire and caused auroras as far south as the Caribbean. If it happened today, the damage could cost trillions and take years to repair. And there's no off switch. 
the sun does what it wants. Right now, tiny particles from deep space are passing through you. They're called cosmic rays, high-energy atomic nuclei traveling at near light speed. On Earth's surface, we're safe thanks to our atmosphere and magnetic field. But in space, they're a nightmare. They can damage DNA, fry electronics, and make long-term space travel extremely risky. Even on Earth, during certain solar cycles, more cosmic rays penetrate our atmosphere. Invisible, unstoppable, and always there. Okay, this one's more speculative, but it's worth mentioning. If advanced alien civilizations exist, we have no idea what their intentions might be. Scientists look for techno-signatures, signs of technology like radio signals or megastructures. The Fermi paradox asks the question, if life is common, where is everybody? The unsettling possibility is, maybe we haven't met them yet for a reason, or maybe they've already noticed us. In about five billion years, our sun will run out of hydrogen fuel. When that happens, it'll swell into a red giant, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and maybe Earth. Even before that, the sun will get hotter and brighter. In about a billion years, Earth's oceans could boil away, making the planet uninhabitable long before the actual expansion. If humanity is still around by then, we'll need to leave home behind. Now let's zoom way out to the end of everything. The heat death of the universe, also called the Big Freeze, is a far future scenario where all stars burn out, our galaxies drift apart, and the universe becomes cold, dark, and lifeless. <laughs> it won't happen for trillions upon trillions of years. But when it does, even black holes will evaporate into nothingness. Other endings, like the Big Rip or Big Crunch, are possible. But right now, the Big Freeze seems most likely. It's the ultimate reminder that nothing lasts forever. The universe is beautiful, but it's also ruthless. These dangers may seem distant, but that they remind us just how fragile life is. Our best defense isn't fear, it's curiosity, exploration, and the will to survive. Because as long as we keep looking up, we still have a fighting chance.